Hello everybody and welcome to Mega Aquarium and to Napalos where we are going to be refurbishing a theatre to be an aquarium. So this theatre has fallen into disuse, you're going to convert it into a successful aquarium. Ha ha ha. This is your opportunity to demonstrate everything you've learned so far. It's time to build an aquarium of your own design. The only conditions of success are that you must reach rank 7 and obtain a minimum number of different animal species. You'll have opportunities to complete optional objectives as you grow. It's up to you whether you accept these. But you may find it easier to succeed if you do. Good luck. Okay. So the whole place is full of stupid chairs. I'm gonna like put them around the edge I think for now. Over this side and then I'm gonna mostly build over the other side. And have a lovely seating area over here, look. I'm gonna make you a seating area. There we are. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so we're gonna start building tanks over in this corner. Um, so I'm gonna start off by just moving all these. I'm gonna just basically make a big wall over there. Big seating area over there, and then we'll start the aquarium on this side. So I'm going to start myself off with a couple of um, nice corner tanks. I'm going to pop them in the corner over here. Looks about right and I'm going to start then reusing the walls. them in the right orientation wouldn't it and then I'm going to start pulling some of the seating over to this side so they've got places to sit um, I'm also going to maybe oh, I need to think about things like toilets and stuff like that don't I would that have been better as an observer tank no because I'll put some wall uh, proper wall tanks and stuff along here as well probably I'm kind of thinking a toilet might actually just fit nicely in just by there or just over this side in fact, I could do that. I could just like um, put toilets in here. That would be quite a good place to start putting them. So the toilet's just tucked away from the entrance. Just there. Well, actually, you know what? Probably be better if it was like here and here. Because you know what they're like. If you give them any space to mill around, they will. So they come in, toilets are on the right, and then they start looking at the fish. Um, possibly a couple of vending machines would fit in here as well. Maybe a drinks machine. So we've got all of the stuff that that they might need. And a bin there as well. Oh, that's not a bin. All the stuff that they need just as they as they run you know come in the door. And then you start looking at all the cool fish. I might turn this into a backstage area, but I'm actually kind of thinking eventually what I'll do is once I've got more uh, room for all the seats and things, and I know where I'm going to put them, I might put some tanks in the middle. Possibly some lagoon tanks. But I think two tanks to start with is fine. Oh no! They're the stupid tanks. We don't want stupid tanks. We want nice, deep, lovely tanks. In fact, while I'm doing that, why don't I put the observer tank that I wanted in? Oh, there's not enough room for it. And this is how it starts. This is why I end up with a huge aquarium, because nothing fits. Okay, observer tank. Deep observer tank. We want to have it this, about the same size, you see, as uh, the tank behind it. And to do that, you need to pull it back one more. We've got a lovely corner tank and a lovely observer tank there. Very nice. And then I'm also going to need a way in to this back section, which I have completely blocked off now. So again, we're going to need it. I will put a wall there, though. Probably need to expand that out to be honest. Okay, let's do that. Uh, get rid of all these because we're going to need room backstage. 
And we've got all these walls now that I can actually do something with. Yay. So I'm going to start off like this. Actually, I could make this into a little bit of an area that could be used for seating and drinks and things like that. Because you kind of do need to leave room for those sorts of things. So we'll go like that for now. I may change that later. And put a staff door in probably around here somewhere. So I'm going to move that out of the way, actually. I'll move that back over there. And put a little staff door in. So they've got their little area where they can look after all the fish and everything. And I'm going to move a few benches and possibly some of the... Well, I don't think I'll move the soda machines. I'll move some benches over there, though. So people have got places to sit. That's quite nice, I like that. And in fact, I might even just make this a little kind of proper seating area. I could, oh, you know what? I'll make that a seating area, put the vending machines in there. See, utilizing what I've got. And then I'd probably put another bench over there. Possibly with a bin. I don't have too many bins. There you are, a bench and a bin, a little seating area, and then a little drinks area there. That looks really good. Staffed all around there. So I'm going to move the broom closet. That needs to be not on display, so let's move that around there. And give them a tool thingy. And a sponge sink. So they can clean the toilets and things. I know the sponge sink is a little way away from the toilet, so I will try and move that as soon as I can. But for now, it'll just have to pop by there. So they've got all their little bits that they can use. Um, and then we're going to need platforms, because obviously these are... tanks that need platforms for feeding. And then we're going to need some food. But I need to know which fish to put in first before we're going to have know what food to do. So uh, let me have a look. They grow quite a lot. I'm thinking maybe if we start off with ones that aren't too difficult. Like, obviously, it'd be nice to have these big lionfish and the eels and things in first. But maybe let's start off with something easy, like maybe um, some royal grammars and half and half chromis or something like that. Royal grammars are good because they give me some science. Yes, yeah, so you've got some for science, some for other things. is full. This tank can have a bit more. We could see if we could put eels in there. We could get four eels in there. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going a bit like being getting a bit ahead of myself. Maybe we just need to start this thing off. So what will you not go with? Grammars, Pantheus, Alright, so you don't like anything really, so you know, we'll have a little tank full of royal grammars. And that'll be fine. You know, we've got like a couple of tanks just full of like nice fish to start off with. Very basic ones that I don't really need to worry too much about. So this is my basic stuff tank. So I'm going to pull that out a little bit more because I'm going to need some um, pumps to sort them out. And what I can use now, I think, if I'm right, is a... Yes, we have a power pump. Now this is pretty cool because I can actually get it to service more than one tank at once, which is amazing. But I need to add some stuff to it first. So let's get me a couple of power combis. And then one of these power combis, you can see I can add a tank. So I can connect a new tank, so I can connect it to that tank. At least I think I can. Doesn't like to work all the time. Tank three and four. No, it is it is connected. But we do need some more um oh, just a little bit more filter filtering and temperature, unfortunately, on both of them. That's a shame. They're just slightly too big for the pumps.
So I could just add another filter on each side, actually. And that should that should do it. Okay. So that actually sorted it out, putting another filter on. Fantastic. Right, I need an orange pellet dispenser now. And then we can open up. Orange pellet dispenser. Open the aquarium. So these guys are... Do they not need anything else? No, so the, the guests will think that the tank is bare, but I can decorate while they're coming in. Ooh, ecology project. Ooh, oh, a shark. Wow, it requires supplements and all sorts. Kind of have to. This is the first time I've seen a shark, and it's amazing. Oh, and a, a double filter, I guess? Maybe a guidebook shelf soon as well. I need to put something in here. So how about we have some eelgrass at the back there? Maybe a, a, a little thing of stones or something like that. Maybe a driftwood cave or something. There they are. They've got a nice little tank there. So what about these guys? You need something to make your place look nice. To be honest, there's quite a lot of stuff around. Uh, they can have some rubble in there at the back, like, like there. And then I'm gonna move a few things from here, like there's an anchor there that I can steal and put in their tank. And I could have a couple of sea lettuces or something. I don't put many sea lettuces into tanks, honestly, because they, they aren't really very good, but, like, that's fine. I think I need some stuff, because no one's actually feeding the fish right now. Someone that's good at feeding would be good. Got sort of a feeder and, like, an overall generalist. Fantastic. So they know that that's a staff door, thank goodness. Kind of thinking that then we could get into. I don't know about this sandy area. I kind of it's nice, right? It's a nice little thing, but I don't know if I if I'd rather just use all the ornaments in tanks and get rid of it. I don't know if that's like heresy or something. I mean, in the meantime, I can definitely um, make sure. Oh, we need a wall back here. People are going to mill around where they shouldn't be milling around. I'm kind of thinking I could move a little bench like over here. No, that's going to be in the way of the tank, isn't it? I'm always thinking of where to put little seating areas. I mean, this definitely looks like a little seating area, doesn't it? trying to move these out of the way make this into a little seating area over here and then I've got room for another tank to go in which is what I want I want more tanks obviously this is an aquarium you need more tanks people have plenty of places to sit and as the aquarium grows I mean I'm definitely I like this thing in the middle it's really cool but um, I don't know I don't think I want a Belfast tank. I want to do something really cool on the other side, right? I want a cool thing. I'm going to move the toilets back a bit. I need more space on this side. I could move them into there, actually. I could just hit them into the wall. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do that. And that. And move the toilets around, and then I can play around with all the wall, the, uh, the walls and stuff. I like I like to recess the toilets into the the wall. I think that looks the best for them, to be honest. And it, there's kind of room backstage here for me to just 
Put these walls out of the way. There's not many of them left now. But it's a bit of a waste of money not to utilize them if I've been given them. Okay, so we can store them back there for now. These guys seem to be working well, doing good. Cool. Now I'm kind of thinking in the middle I could put some like lagoon tanks and stuff. But I'm thinking that first I want, I think I want a Belfast tank over here with something really funky in it. Funky and cool. 90 will be enough, definitely. Fit it like right the way back. So we've still got room for a couple of like, I'm gonna, just gonna have a little look at the layout. I'm gonna put a couple of lagoon tanks in the middle just so I can see what they would look like. Could have one about there. Could even extend, yeah, I could even expand it. Kind of in between those two. That then looks a bit off center, do you not think? I don't know really. That just makes the Belfast tank look a bit silly. I'm gonna just let them like mill around, give me prestige points and things like that, and then play around with just a, a bit of a design and, and things like that. Um, at least I'm making money while I'm doing it. And that's always good. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. Like I say, I'd love to keep the beach stuff going on. Because it's really pretty, yeah, it's pretty awesome, to be honest. So maybe I could do that if I expanded this out. Move all the walls, though. Could just have everything kind of starting to go around this thing in the middle but then i don't know if that's just causing me issues is it just causing me issues or is it pretty i can't tell <laughs> i'm gonna move these over here I mean, all I've done really is dump vending machines over there. It's not the greatest, is it? I'm going to stick that in there. Tank. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do with these barrels and just pop them around the place. I don't want huge seating areas. You don't need huge seating areas. So there's no reason for me to have them. Um, so one thing I could definitely do is to put some seating in around the Belfast tank. Because usually what I'll have is a little kind of corridor going off there. You'll see in a minute, it'll be like a corridor going back to there. So I could move it. Now, now I've change things around it's actually going to be easier to move it to be in line with that however it will never be in line with that that's the wrong size the lagoon tank is the wrong size the lagoon tank needs to be one smaller well the belfast tank needs to be somewhere completely different i'm going to just pop it like over here or something Because I don't think I'm going to be able to achieve the effect I want with the Belfast tank over there. So I'm also going to move these actually into the corridor. Why did I not think of this before? That's a perfect place to put them out of the way. Hopefully it doesn't stop anyone coming through. It gets it out of the way, doesn't it? Unless the Belfast tank goes this way. But no, I don't think it need. I don't think it can. It'll go over here. I'm going to leave it there for now because I've bought it and it's expensive. 
Um, and I'm, I'm on pause again. It annoys me when I'm on pause all the time. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we want some deep tanks, I think. The whole point of this was I was supposed to be making money. And now I'm not. I could have a larger wall tank. I could have a tank that's about the same size. Oh, can I not? Of course. It's the wrong one. Yes. Deep wall tank. Proper wall tank. The actual wall tank I want. The wall tank that we need. I'm going to put a massive one in. It's going to be about the same size. It's the lagoon tank. There could be two more. Oh, actually, yes. That would be fine because if it was two more, then it would be nice and symmetrical. There we are. That's more like it. Then we can use some of these walls to wall out to the general public. I don't need those public people coming into my areas that I are staff only. Okay, that'll do for now. Oh man, I've got a staff door. I always forget their staff door. Every time. I always forget where it is as well. I need to start using arrows as well, I think. So let's get all the, the, the dudes out of the back of there. So we've got two new tanks that we need to be starting to play with now but I can actually put this on play now because all of the areas that need to be walled off are walled off no actually no they're not they're not now they are okay so all the areas that are walled off and need to be walled off have been walled off I, I feel like I'm just not being clever enough with my design to actually have um, I'm not being clever enough with my design to actually utilise this whole like bit in the middle here. I don't feel like I'm doing very well at that. Like I'm not thinking about it enough, am I? Okay, so what are we going to put in here then? Something interesting and cool, I think. I'm just going to have, do you know what, I'm just going to, because it means I might need less pumps and things. I'm just going to have the feeding area over here, right? Okay. So they can feed over there. In fact, no, I'm going to move it. Feeding platform over here. That's going to be the perfect place for it. Which means I can get pumps all along the back, which would be really good. I'm going to need a giant pump to get that working though. Good grief. So what are we going to have in here? I want something that would give me loads of prestige, I think, and get lots of people in here. Now, it looks to me like that Arabian butterfly fish. It doesn't like corals and stuff, but that's fine. I don't have to put corals in with it. Um, plus two for plants, okay, and plus one for rocks. So for every one that I have in there, I'm going to need two plants and one rock, okay. This is a big tank. Maybe I could mix it with a few other things. Oh wow, why do they like that? Is that because I've not given them... They look stressed out probably. <laughs> That's no good. So they're gonna want rocks, so let's give them some rubble. They're gonna want plants, so let's give them some kelp. And maybe some of this um, weed stuff, like... That's always nice along the front of a tank, I think. Maybe some eelgrass at the back. No, actually, I'll keep, I'll keep going with this stuff. Man, I can't even stress them out for like two minutes. <laughs> I think they're going to need to go in there with something else, though. Something else that's a little bit less, like, needy of rocks and stuff. We've got loads of space in this tank still. I might want a pump for this tank anyway, to be honest. 
probably gonna need a ton of filtration and stuff. It's huge and it's cool. I love huge tanks. Can put a pitted column in. Not enough, not enough money, really? Wow. Um, now this is a problem. I'm gonna need to run this, I think, so I can make enough money to actually put their filters in. Get a power combi in. Okay, is there not enough? Oh, that didn't do much, did it? No. Let's see if we can get a protein skimmer in. Not enough money. They're going to die. Everything's going to die because I don't have enough money. That is a massive problem. Mind you, they don't say they're going to die yet. Not yet. So how about we? This is this is my problem. I get a little bit over um, ambitious. Let's put a little d dispenser in so they can at least get fed, and then I'll try and get them something else in to help them with their heating and everything. Wow, so little money. Everyone's going to be really unhappy because these guys are stressed out. Try and get a small protein skimmer in. Okay, that helped. That helped a lot. Now I need a heater. I probably overdo things usually anyway. Power heater. There you are. They're happy now. Right, cool. You can definitely get other things into that tank. That tank is huge and it's not... Oh, we're at 100 prestige. Yay! That didn't take long. We need to get to a thousand though. This tank um, only has 28 out of 112. So I need to put other things in here that are going to be like happy to be in here. I mean, reef squirrel fish. Do you need much? You need. You're a cave lover. I should be able to put a few of you in here, I reckon. So, what, what about these guys? They, they're, they just eat stuff and have quite high requirements. But if we put some reef squirrel fish in with them, I'm going to have a hidey hole requirement. If I put 12 in, then I can get one of these um these like caves these pitted columns i'm um, at minus two money at the moment so they're going to be a little bit unhappy for just a little while i will need some more um filtration as well in here i'm making the money slowly i'm gonna speed it up actually the quicker it goes the more money i make hopefully they're not gonna die Ooh. Herbivore habitat. Would I be interested in creating a sponsored exhibit? Yes! Give me money! I'd love to see a display showing herbivores in a natural looking habitat. So, three pellet eaters, two different plants, water quality and heating. Let's do this. Give me the 2000 now! I can put in a protein skimmer for these guys. So how much of that have I got so far? Two plants, three different green pellet eaters. Okay. I can do that. Maybe with my spare Belfast tank over there that I've done nothing with and I spent a huge amount of money on. Oops. So that's instantly enough for them to be really happy. Um, let's sell this. Put the bigger one in. Really? Still? Wow.
Okay, so any of these guys, are they moll mollusk uh, crustacean eaters? Because we could try and put some crustaceans in if we have any. No, we don't have any. Oh, man. Okay, just need to put loads of protein skimmers in then. Boo. Oh, right. Everything's broken. Everything is broken. Put another tool bench in over here. nobody assigned to that like i need to fix a person oh maybe i didn't have anybody that could fix which allowed both of those to go down at the same time these are doing okay oh one of those is broken as well that sucks luckily they seem not too bad okay we all, we all fixed up good Ooh, someone has leveled up I would like you to be better at feeding. Definitely. 100%. Be really quick at feeding. Okay, I want to have a look at these butterfly fish thingies. Oh no, one of my butterfly fish died. That reduced my ba my base prestige by nine. Because that was... A oh man. I'm going to put another one in. But I really, really dislike losing fish really dislike it. Getting good prestige overall though. I'm just gonna let this sort of fast forward until now then. The question still remains, do I leave the beach thing in or do I take it away? I'm kind of thinking take it away, honestly. Because it's really difficult to get... It's a nice piece, but I would like to use all of the bits in tanks. I could put the Belfast tank in. It'd have its own little kind of tiny room with... Around the back, which allows feeding or something. Okay. I'm going to try and do this. I'm going to try and do this. So I'm going to move a few bits and pieces around. Could have another thing in there. Move that in there or something. Um, I build everything so tight, don't I? I build it way too tight. Move that net out of the way. I'm going to get rid of these wall pieces here so that I can get a proper... Okay, let's move them rather than... Because I, I don't think I can get wall pieces like that. Well, I might have to paint them or something to get wall pieces like that again. So... Do that. Move this out of the way. Move this out of the way. Move these over here. Move the Belfast tank over. Move all this rubbish out of the way. Cannon over that side. And it's the wrong shape and size. As usual. Surprise, surprise. This tank is never the right size. Ever. For anything. Unless we resized it or had two. Yeah, we could have two. Like one there. They could be on the sandy bit. Yeah. I like this idea. Should I have them back a bit so that the, the, the sand is like there? I will do, but I'll have to do a bit of um, messing around first. Okay, so this is a cool idea. I like it. 
I like this idea a lot. So we have the barrels and all that stuff around. I mean, do I have do I have sand paint? I haven't even looked at this, right? It would be under decorations, wouldn't it? So, like tropical beach paint. Yeah, I can just paint that sand whenever I want. So, there's no reason for me to worry about that. All right then. We're gonna have tropical beach. Belfast tanks on it. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna expand the entire thing backwards. Especially behind the Belfast tank. I'm gonna move these. To here. So I've got a, like a room where I can go to. Now, the problem with Belfast tanks is that you kind of ha do have to have this, um... I'm actually wondering if, a lag if lagoon tanks would be better, because the problem with you have with a Belfast tank is you kind of really do have to uh, make sure that the guests can get around it. But for now, it's okay. I can change things around later on. It's fine. So I want one Belfast tank here, and then I want another one by the side of it. And you can have a little cannon in the front, and you can have like a net in between or something like that. It'll be like its own little display. So then I want the, the beach paint, and I want to just do another stripe of beach paint on the floor. Getting creative now. Look at me. Look at me go. There's my sand. Look. Making my beach bigger. And then I need um, a couple of walls to be turned around. Probably this one. And this one. Don't worry, I'll move that dude later. And then I want I want more walls and I'm gonna have to paint them tropical beach or whatever it is. I think it's tropical beach. Paint you tropical beach. Oh no, that's not the one. Okay. Paint you shipwreck. Yeah, it's shipwreck. There we are. Paint you in shipwreck. Then grab you. I'm telling you to go over there. And then what I'm probably going to need to do is to uh, make this area a bit smaller. So I'm going to pop a couple of these benches over here. At the moment we've got a bit of a seating area thingy going on over here. Bit of a coke machine thingy. That may change. Oh man, I had loads of ship prep walls. You know what? I don't need them. Let me just get rid of these. Like, I'll draw walls when I need them. It's so annoying having walls everywhere. It's just absolutely driving me, driving me up the wall. So I'm kind of thinking... Seriously, we haven't had any sun in about 4 million years and now the sun comes out? When I'm trying to record stuff? I don't think your stuff door there is needed as well. So don't worry about it. Get rid of that. Move the stuff door over. Get rid of all of this. Just make a little bit more room. Just a little bit more space. And I'll probably have tanks along here as well. So it'll kind of go around. The observer tank there is actually quite nice for that. And then we'll probably have tanks going here, but for now I'm just going to cap it off. Because I'm going to need to spend a lot of time working on the Belfast tanks. Right, so now we're, we've done kind of what we need to do. Oh, I sold my drink machine. Darn it. No, no, no. There we are. Move 
move that shell into the Belfast tank. I'm going to move that barrel to kind of around that area. Oh! Okay, well that got sold. Oh well. I've got barrels, it's cool. It's looking a bit of a mess at the moment, but I'm just trying to work with what I've got, you know? And I think a palm tree at the back would be amazing. On each side. That's a nice display, isn't it? Yeah. It would be nice with the guidebook, I think. And then we'll get the large chiller for the cold. We haven't got anything cold water yet anyway. I'll need a staff door behind here as well. But yeah, I'll get this tank up and running before I do anything else. So I'm going to get a filter in and everything like that first. I don't 100% know what I'm going to put in. I'm going to try and put some kind of tropical fish in, I believe. Uh, oh, I need one a bigger pump than that. We need a bigger pump than that. So that'll be doing that tank. And then I'll pop another one to the side once I build it. So as usual, we need a couple more spaces behind the, the pump. Always happens. Always happens to me anyway. I want a power combi or two and possibly a protein skimmer. I don't 100% know what I need, so we'll, we'll go with that. We've quite a lot of filtration and stuff. So we don't have enough heat at the moment either. No matter what we put in there, we won't have enough heat for tropical fish. So how about put in a 36 more heat? We only actually, we don't need much more heat. Put in a heater. There we are. Seems to be working, so I wonder what we should put in there. <gasps> Ooh, I've got an idea. Lionfish. Yes, you would go beautifully in there. Hopefully it's big enough for you. Because you need two hidey holes per one of you. But you're quite a big fish. You only need one hidey hole, and you take five space up. How much space do we actually have in here? We've got 90, so we could have like six of you or something. And you guys need two. You go up to 11. So we've had six of those and three of these ones. That would be 12. That would be one column. Yeah. And then like three of these guys. Because all the lionfish kind of have to go together. Right. So now we need a little bit more filtration. And then a way to feed them and a hidey hole. So that's not so bad. Uh, I'll put another little protein skimmer in there. Should... She says should sort out their, their problems. No. And everything is broken. How did everything break so quickly? Oh my goodness. They're all going to die again. It's awful. Let's get a staff door anyway. That'll be the first thing. It's like it just immediately all broke. It was just like, hee hee hee. Let's break straight away. Yay. Put the tool station in right behind it, I guess. Probably gonna need it, right? No one is doing that job. Oh my goodness. You, go fix stuff. You, go fix stuff. I need all my stuff fixed right now. Because those fish are already in there. Thank you. Get them a hidey hole while stuff's being fixed. Oh, right, so they've got their hidey hole. That's great. They need a muscle feeder. Stressful. It's stressful doing these these aquariums. Honestly, I'm worried that my fish are gonna die all the time. Gift shop unlocked. Let's have a chiller and then we'll do a crustle tank. That platform's in the wrong place. Move that over. Stairs. Stairs. That 
platform, platform. Stairs. There they are. Beautiful. Ooh. Ooh, you've got a new skill. Uh, why don't you get even better at feeding? Because I got some people in recently that did fixing, so it's cool. I'm going to need someone that can do gift shop. I may have to actually start managing my staff soon. I know, how crazy is that? Let's have a look at how many people are, are looking at everything right now. Oh, we've still got 100%, so that's amazing. These big tanks have a good area of effect on them. Which draws people in to look at them. So I'm really happy with that. Which of the tank are we actually using up now with this one? 48 out of 90, but some of them are going to grow as well, so that's fine. I'm good with that. Oh, so we're at 300... 300 odds, nearly. Prestige right now. Ta the aquarium's getting bigger all the time, and I'm getting loads more money that I can use for things. Um, I've only lost one so far. So we've got a couple of things that we need to, to work on. I'm going to slow this down. A couple of things I need to work on. So I've got a couple of tanks that I want to do for, for example, I've got a shoulders exhibit that I need to do. Whoa. Now, you guys maybe don't realise how big a tank I'm going to need for this. But shoulders tend to need to go in groups of like three or four or five or something. So I'm going to have to have a massive tank to get all these shoulders in. That might be something for the secondary um, tank over here. However, the thing with these is because the, the Belfast tanks are three high, so if I need to have a lot of, like these guys over here, they need a lot of like stone and plants and things like that. So I've got to be really, really careful. I'm going to have to really plan what I do for that. My poor little fishy that died. Interested in some Bartlett, Bartlett and Thias. Um, if you'd like to trade for them, I'm interested in coral groupers and longhorn cowfish. But we can certainly come back to that later. But yes, I think that this is a good start. I'm really glad that I worked out that I could draw sand, because I was like really worried what I'd do with that, that little sand patch. I just thought, oh, I need to do something with it. It looks really cool. But yeah, what I may do is to start, like, start the aquarium going around, like this way. And then start having arrows sending people round. So they'll start off around here, they'll go all the way around, they'll come back in and go down there. I think that might be a really good way to continue. So we'll have people starting to come around here, we'll put some tanks along the wall there and all the way around and all the way around coming back here and that will be the sort of shape of the aquarium I will have. It will be like Ikea again. Building Ikea all the time. Anyway, that's it for today's episode though, so I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Mega Aquarium, please subscribe, I will let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time, in the meantime though, please look after yourselves, and keep being awesome. <laughs>